Rock's channel right now. Let's get it! How's everybody doing today? It's Brock, and we are here for an episode of All About. If you're new here, I'm Brock, like I said, and I'm just doing weekly videos about fish and crustaceans and things in that nature, all salt water, and maybe even eventually I'll start doing coral, but for now, we're doing fish. I'm giving the facts about them. I'm giving my personal opinion on them. I've been working at a fish store for a while now, so my opinion might be a little bit more, I guess, trustworthy than some guy that's just researching online. So I hope you all enjoy this video. This is going to be all about the lionfish or the black volatin lionfish. Get the parameters down. We got tank size, 120 gallons. If you get these guys small, you could probably put them in a 55 gallon, but they're going to grow. So, you know, over the years, you're going to have to get a bigger tank. Care. They're pretty easy. The hard thing about them is eating, getting them to eat some fish whenever you first get them. But other than that, they're easy fish. Temper, they can be semi-aggressive. Pretty much if anything you think can fit in his mouth based on fish and shrimp, he can eat it if he gets hungry. So watch out for that. You don't want to be putting little green chromies in there with him or anything. Reef compatible. Yes, he is reef compatible. Temperature, you're going to keep it 72 to 78, keep your KH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.021 to 1.023. Everything's normal there. Max size, he can get over a foot. I mean, these dudes can get big if they get old. But most of the time, whenever you buy him, he's going to be about 4 inches long. Colors you're going to see on him, blacks, whites, reds, and browns. Venomous, yes, they are venomous. If you want to know where, I mean the dorsal, the pelvic, and the anal fins are what's venomous. And uh, if you do get stung, you need to get the leftover fins out and you need some medical attention. It's going to feel like a really, really bad bee sting. But they're not going to like try to come after you. So if you're like cleaning your tank or anything, they're not going to be like, oh man, I need to go sting this dude. Just watch out for them whenever you're messing around in your tank. They are a carnivore. They're going to eat things like shrimp, silver sides, or any other kind of crustaceans. Getting these guys to eat your first couple of weeks of having them in your tank is one of the problems people have with them passing away. So another thing you could try is live food. Maybe at your freshwater fish store or maybe where you buy bait. You could get something like little shiners, just any kind of small freshwater fish to just drop in there and he'll be swimming around and it'll really entice him. I should be able to get a video in this video so y'all can see that where we put a little shiner in there for him to eat. Compatibility with anything they can even be paired up with more than one line fish and they come from the Caribbean. Make sure the tanks pretty open he likes to stay out in the open but for the first couple of weeks you know make sure there's some rock in there so he can hide behind it whenever he's not used to being there. And really, that's about all you need to know about this lionfish. He's a great fish to have. Just watch out on that feed, and that's the hard part about these guys. And make sure you don't get stung. I bet it doesn't feel good. Hope y'all have a good day. This was all about the lionfish. Y'all catch me later. I'll see y'all.